Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I am a reseller and a photographer. Today I have a haul from the bins or the Goodwill outlet. I went with my friend Hope. Her YouTube is Rex to Riches and I'll link her down below. Um, she is also speaking at Posh Fest, so be sure to tune into that. She's going over her um, inventory system, which we all need, because who likes to look for one item and not be able to find it and then cancel the sale? If you've ever done that, put a finger down. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. It's been a few weeks. Um, I'm really antsy to get everything listed. I'm delayed because I've been working on some um, real estate photography, which is fun. So I might forget what I, even I have. First item is Nike by Stefan Janowski. Nike skateboarding shoes. They have a beach print on them. I did soak these for 24 hours in OxyClean, the whitening stuff, um, but I still need to go through and clean up the soles a little bit more. So that's fun. I also searched everywhere for the to find the pair of these these are a almost like a mary jane doc martin they're really heavy they're a size 10 so my size i don't know if these are men's or women's let's see These are too, too big to be women's. Is that right? Let me put them on real quick. I don't know, they could be women's. They just seem kind of big. But they are boots. There's not a style name. I'll have to look up the number and see. We will find out. They don't seem like a men's style. They're kind of big on me. <laughs> I'm wearing a kimono I bought from Lori's Boston Found. I'll link her closet below. I paired it with some leggings from Aldi. Can you believe that? I was at Bath and Body Works. And the girl's like, are those the Spanx leggings? That uh, leather, faux leather liquid leggings? And I was like, no, they're from Aldi. She's like, I'm gonna leave work here and go, go get those. Okay, so next up we have Lucky Brand button down. I like the pattern, so I picked it up, but I don't get Lucky Brand really ever anymore. So I'm gonna send that to Thread Up. This is a postmark by Anthropology tweed top with a collar. Size medium. Okay, this is a linen top by. Lungo Larno, made in Italy, 1X. Short sleeve with a different knit on the top half. Here is a texture and thread by Madewell. Red blouse with a ruffle, ruffle sleeve. And a purple Doletta Anthropology sleeveless top. 
I don't really pick up Diletta anymore at the regular Goodwill. This is a J. Crew collector tee. It says Lucky Day in an embroidery. Size large. This is a Rock and Republic ombre long sleeve button down. Collared shirt. I don't pick up that brand at Goodwill either. This stuff is all going to thread up. I have everything separated in a laundry basket, what's going to thread up and what I'm going to be listing. I'm excited to get listed for quarter four. So then we have a Old Navy Love sweatshirt going to thread up. Then we have a Nike dry fit extra small pair of running shorts. This is so soft. It's just cropped and barrel, but it's 100% cashmere and it's extra large. Wonder if I could wear it. Might be mine. This is a Calvin Klein extra small. I just realized that part of the, t the size tag is missing. So thread up might not take it, but it's a knit jacket. I might as well just put that in the listing pile. Here is another cashmere sweater. This one is a turtleneck. It's by Apartment 9 Extra Large. Just a loft vintage soft basic tee. Size small. I feel like my slippers are squeaking. This is the Ann Taylor Silk Ruffle. I don't know if you'd call this a jacket, but. It's a ruffle jacket. It looks like, kind of like feathers. Extra small. This should be in your clueless Halloween costume. Plaid, it's from Forever 21, size medium. I love it. It's got an A embroidered on it. I found this tiny baby shirt that's so cute, Johnny Cash, 3T. This is Venus the Goddess, Goddess Fit, size 4. I wasn't sure about this brand, but I like this wash and this back detail. So that's going to go to thread up. A pair of Under Armour extra small leggings. Another pair of running shorts by Nike, size large, so these are kids. A 
another just loft basic top. Size small. This is one that Hope gave me because it, I mean, it's clean. But it's like a horse, so I'm going to clean it up and see what that does with it. Thanks, Hope. This is a soft and sexy tank size medium by American Eagle tie-dye red, maroon. This is the Kardashian collection. Um, I don't think this will be considered leather, will it? Yeah, it's kind of almost a leather look to it, liquid legging. I heard Banana Republic does well on thread up, so this is gonna go. It's just a knit sleeveless cardigan, extra small. Sorry if you hear construction yet again. This is a Max Studio top. I found a lot of Lane Bryant when I was with Hope. I found this blazer. It's a size 20. This I thought was cute. It's from Aeropostale, size small. It's a little jumper, romper. This is an American Eagle knit sweater. It's got a large cable knit almost. What kind of material is this? It's acrylic and viscose. This is really soft. It's Lauren Conrad, size extra, extra small. I mean, it's a 2XL fuzzy jacket. Cute. This is BCBG Max, Max Azria neon blazer. It's a crop blazer. And it's a medium. Probably needs to go to the wash. This is a Miami Red Hawks pink long sleeve. It's got pink embroidered here and then the team at the bottom. So that's everything going to thread up. Next. These are the items that I'm going to list. Um, this is a Infantino baby wrap. And it's got, what kind of pattern is this? It's kind of like a farm pattern. It's, almost, it's kind of like a storybook. Black and white pattern. I got lucky because this lady put back all of her bags and so I pretty much grabbed every single one she put back. This is a fossil leather purse with a key, skeleton key, and it's very clean inside. It's a, got a long crossbody.
this I thought would be good for someone's Halloween costume. Wonder Woman. And it's new with tags. It looks like it's from like a novelty store. This is a vintage scarf. It's got hand, hand rolled, um, hand sewn edges. It says Coco Ashiwa. I don't know what that is, but it's got this fall acorn pattern. No, don't. You gotta go. You gotta leave. There's a whole house. I just need this one room. Goodbye. This pair of democracy size 8 ab technology jeans, which I have a pair myself. These are mid-rise though, skinny, with a light wash. So that's nice. More hand rolled silk scarf, scarves. This is Echo. Oh no, that's not 100% silk. It's 70% chinon, 30% silk. I don't know what chinon is. So, am I even saying that right? Probably not. This is not hand rolled. This is sewn by a sewing machine, but it's a. Uh, Liberty of London, all silk made in England scarf. Fancy. I'm thinking of, <laughs> I'm thinking of a TikTok I watched last night that was like, <laughs> Queen of England, this is for you if you're not a Queen Elizabeth don't watch, but please, we're sorry for everything, but please come get us because America's a dumpster fire right now. <laughs> Why is it so funny right now? I literally lay in bed and I'm like just howling and crying laughing. I wonder what my neighbors think. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay. This is made in Italy, all silk for Macy's, Macy Associates, hand rolled um, scarf. It's an abstract rose, green and yellow. I love this one, that's a cool pattern. Okay. These are cachet, which I've never sold before, I don't think. 100% um, rayon. And it's a pant, but it's supposed to look like a skirt because it's like multi-layered. It's got the sheer panel in the front and back. And then this is the pant. So that's cute. Um, and it's got a zip up back, size six. The Marlene Bryant, these are size two petite boot cut. It's not the Lane Bryant band, 
brand. It's the the Nezia brand. If that's how you say it. Probably not. These are Levi Levi's 550 high waist mom jeans with straight leg. And <clears throat> it's a 10 petite medium, 550 relaxed fit tapered leg. Why does it have an M on the, it says 10 petite M. I don't know what the M is. But those are in really good condition. Don't Lily, stop it. This is an Athleta. It's like really stretchy, comfortable fabric. And it's kind of like a, feels like it might be like a beach cover up or like a yoga cover up, but it's a size small. And it's got this cinch detail. Next up, we have a Vineyard Vines long sleeve top. It's kind of wrinkled. This I thought was a cool, reusable bag. It's got buttons, or yeah, it's a button closure. And it has the collage pattern. Not very big, but it's by Blue Q. And it's a crossbody with an adjustable strap. So I thought it was worth picking up at least. Just wash these. They're an extra large Nike dry fit tennis skirt. I found this cabby bird pattern. It's purple and gray, sleeveless ruffle top, size extra small. Feels like silk, but it's polyester. Story of my life. Next up, we have this. I don't know how to say it. It's by Carrie Underwood. Kalia by Carrie Underwood. Size small bikini. And it's got a strappy back. And I'll have to put these through the washer. Why is my floor creaky? Can you hear that? Anywhere I sit. Next up, we have Lane Bryant boyfriend jeans, size 16. And it's got a gold hem. So I thought that was cute. Then we have, it's a lightweight Adidas track pant, size large. This is a cute size 20 Land Bryant blazer. It's got a zip detail and a belt. Then we have Rebel Wilson for Torrid in this cool pop art print. What's it say? Rebel, cool, yeah, no. What? Love? Button up, 
long sleeve. This I was very excited for. I found a St. John for the first time and it's vintage sleeveless knit top. Here's what the tag looks like. Okay, we have the North Face, so small zip up. This is so cute. This would be like a good New Year's Eve top. It's by Maeve for Anthropology, size small. This was interesting. It's a Spanx sweat top. So like the material is like rubber inside. How did I know it was sweat? <clears throat> Or no, it's not Spanx, it's Sweat Shaper, size small or medium. Somebody's gonna lose some weight with that. This is a Russell Athletic, new with tags, extra large top. Button collar. Gray. This is a graphic tee by Lucky Brand. It says the Rusty Cleaver. <laughs> Doesn't sound so good. This is a hooded cardigan by Cyrus. Orange. And it's pretty long. It's really soft. What is it? It's rayon and nylon. Here's my second favorite thing. I found this St. John jacket. Here's the back. Isn't that so cool? Much excite. This is, I don't know if this one is vintage, St. John Collection. This is what the tag looks like. I'm so afraid to get lipstick on it. It says FA206, so that, does that mean fall 2006? I don't see a material on here. So that's exciting. Okay, this is a jacket, town craft jacket, and it's, it feels like linen. It must have been from the regular store. This is super soft and oversized. <clears throat> it's Double XL Sonoma for Life. Sonoma Goods for Life. So from Kohl's, I think. So that's a good fall piece. And a good size. Another Lucky Brand Graphic Tee, Tomahawk Guitars. It looks like it needs washed. This is a Champion Purple and Orange Vest. Said Medium. Next we have a bridesmaid dress, which I don't really pick up, but this one's from the bins and it's 
Morally by Madeline Gardner. And I think this one's plus size, but I don't see. This is a 20, size 28. And it's a really pretty wine red. Stuff was from that lady throwing back stuff. This is a, a Dooney and Burke. It's like an orange. It's like a. Oh my God. Is that orange? It's like a burnt red with a brown. And it's got the crossbody strap. The inside could be better, but not too bad. It's just the sides are kind of stained. So that's a good find. I like to go in the hard goods at the bins to give myself a, a break from picking through clothes. And <clears throat> I found this binder and I opened it up. Let me show you what it looked like on the outside. It's a pretty thick binder. And when I opened it up, it has these looks like that. Let me find a good one. And it's reptiles and insects. So, oh my god. I can get this open. I thought it would be cool if I took this out. Where is it? I can take these prints out. And it's on like high quality paper. And it says Art Print MM International Masters Publisher. Printed in Germany on acid free paper. So I thought maybe I can sell, I don't know if I want to sell different ones together or individually, but I thought that would be a good thing to put on like Etsy and um, eBay. Ew. It's got like gross stuff in here too. Portuguese man of war. I saw another TikTok last night where this guy was <laughs> this guy was paddle boarding in um, South Africa, and there were all kinds of different jellyfish like that. And he was just filming the jellyfish, and somebody commented, "My logical brain." My logical brain says stay away, but my intrusive thoughts, my intrusive thought says just jump in and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, Kenneth Cole um, um, embellished sandal. I need to clean these. Size eight. Then we have a J. Crew size 28 jeans, skinny jeans. This I just washed. It's a, I've never known how to say this. Ka, Kasik, Kasik, 
42C black, black lace bra. It just had some um, deodorant on it, so I washed it. This I spot washed, or I spot treated, and then I washed it, and then I hung dry it. Then I hung it dry. Um, this is a this is a kid's uh, bean jacket. Uh, size 8. This is another one of my favorite finds from that day at the bins. It's a Alice Polynesian Fashions Permapress dress. So it's vintage. And it's a maxi A-line dress. Look at that print. Isn't that so cool? Here's the... <clears throat> And it's a zip back. I just thought that was so pretty. Okay, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it was really fun going and meeting Hope and uh, the bin pickers came and met up with us. So that was cool. Um, we stayed like seven hours, which I would not have been able to do by myself, but it was a lot of fun having company and then like what is wrong with my neighborhood okay it was fun having company and when you find something really good you can run up and show people which you know when you're by yourself you're just kind of like in your head and I sound like Napoleon Dynamite I'm like yes sometimes out loud but that's weird okay so at Goodwill I found this uh, vintage reproduction tarot card deck and that's October and I know it's kind of controversial if you're religious but I thought it would be fun to do a reading so if you don't believe in this stuff, um, just go ahead and skip forward. I understand I'm not, I wouldn't hurt my feelings, but just for fun, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see what we got. This is what I got. The Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Empress, Queen of Swords, and the Sun. Okay, so my potential card is the Page of Wands. And I'll read you what the meaning is. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything to go. You embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not you do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed, but you are excited about the possibilities. That's Poshmark. You have a gift for dreaming up new creative ideas, unfettered by the burdens of everyday life. Nothing will get in the way of your dreams. Yay! Okay, let's do past. My past card is the Empress. The Empress signifies a strong connection with, there's an ad. The Empress signifies a strong connection with our femininity. Femininity translates in many ways, elegance, sensuality, fertility, creative expression, nurturing, and is necessary for creating balance in both men and women. 
The Empress calls on you to connect with your feminine energy. Create beauty in your life. Connect with your senses through taste, touch, sound, smell, and sight. Draw on these senses to experience pleasure and deep fulfillment. So treat yourself to a day spa, learn massage, enjoy a fine restaurant, or spend more time with your partner. That'd be good if I had a partner. The Empress can also suggest pregnancy or birth. This may be an actual pregnancy or childbirth or a metaphorical birth of a new idea or project. Allow those designs and their manifestations to flow through you acting with compassion and love. That's a good one. Let's do my reason card. For my reason card, I got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a man or a woman on a mission. Once he has his mind set on something, nothing is stopping him. And as a Swords card, this Knight actively uses the power of his intellect to achieve his goals. It's a sign that you are highly driven, ambitious, and action-oriented. You are so highly motivated to succeed that you will stop at nothing to pursue your dreams. The challenges, difficulties, and obstacles on the path ahead don't phase you because you know where you want to go. Move forward with sheer strength and determination to make things happen. That's reselling again. These are pretty accurate because I'm really concentrated on my career right now. So this is awesome. Okay. This is my future card and I got the sun. The sun represents success, radiance, and abundance. The sun gives you strength and tells you that no matter where you go or what you do, your positive and radiant energy will follow you and bring you happiness and joy. People are drawn to you because you can always see the bright side and bring such warmth onto other people's lives. This beautiful warm energy is what gets you through the tough times and helps you succeed. You're also in a position where you can share your highest qualities and achievements with others. Radiate who you are and what you stand for. Shine your love on those you care about. Aww. If you're going through a difficult time, the sun brings you a message that you have been waiting for, that things will get better, a lot better. Through the challenges along your path, you've discovered who you are and why you're here. Now you're full of energy and you can already perceive success and abundance flowing to you. You are brimming with confidence because you know everything will work out. It always does. Well, that's good news. The sun connects you to your power base, not fear-driven, egotistical power, but the abundant inner energy radiating through you right now. You have what others want and be are being asked to radiate your energy and your gifts out into the world in a big way. Tap into your power and use your divine will to express that power in positive ways. The sun is also an energetic card. It reflects the time when you can expect to experience an increase in physical energy and general positivity. You are bursting with enthusiasm, invigorated, and enjoying a wonderful sense of good health. Oh, yeah, I, I've been playing volleyball a lot. Okay, that's nice. Cute. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Like, do any cards ever come out with a negative outcome? Why am I so skeptical? Okay. Queen of Swords. This is my present card. The Queen of Swords.
The Queen of Swords combines the mental clarity and intellectual power of the suit of swords with the maturity and receptiveness of the queen. Hmm. You have the gift of being able to use your intellect and unbiased judgment while also remaining flexible and open to receive input from other sources. You may believe that empathy or compassion towards others will distract you from the task at hand. Instead, you prefer to know the how, what, why, where, when, and who of everything to help you make sense of your environment and better understand others. It is not that you do not care about others, but you connect with other people through intellectual understanding rather than emotional one. I don't think that's true at all. The Queen of Swords notes you are a truth seeker. You are open to hearing the thoughts and opinions of others, but ultimately you filter that information to decipher what is true and what is not. When interacting with others, you will not tolerate mistruths or excessive bluff. You prefer to get to the heart of the matter without engaging in too much chit chat or gossip. I think that's pretty true. The Queen of Swords suggests that you have an innate ability to tell it like it is. You are a quick thinker and highly perceptive, piercing through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is no beating around the bush or softening of your comments, opinions, and thoughts. You are upfront and honest in your views and expect the same from others. For this reason, many people respect your opinion and come free to you for advice when they need clarity. I think you're doing people a disservice when you're not honest with them because then they can't come to their own conclusion based on the truth. Okay. <clears throat> As a determined, independent, and resilient person, you have established clear boundaries and you are quick to call out someone who crosses them. People do not mess with you, not because you threaten them or inflict violence, but you set up expectations up front about how you want to be treated. Some people might be intimidated by you, but once they get past your tough exterior and develop a sense of trust and respect, they see your softer side. Yeah, I definitely have boundaries. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you thought that was fun. Um, I don't take this stuff too seriously. It's just, I found it at Goodwill. So I thought it would be fun to try for the beginning of the month. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Um, please like, and subscribe my videos. It really helps me out as I'm a new YouTuber and I will see you next time.